Okay, we have class employee. Uh -huh. In that ID name salary was there. Okay. Salary was there. I we at the end we need to calculate only average salary of the employee by using the streaming concept in Java 8. Okay. 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 In same employee class, okay. how we can override hash code and equals method? Uh, how we can override? Okay. The dashboard, but uh, this is the it will return the integer value and equals. Okay. Okay. No. No issue. No. This is no issue. Okay. Uh, in hash map, mm -hmm. okay. In hash map, what was the contract between hash code and equals method? Okay. So there is a, there is the possibility like the uh, when the two different keys having the uh, same hash code. So in that scenario, uh, the equals method checks uh, if that uh, key is equal to no equal or not. Okay. Can you explain the Spring MVC architecture? Okay. Uh, okay. So the first request comes, then dispatcher servlet handles the request, and the uh, dispatcher servlet uh, passes that uh, request to the controller. So the uh, there is application context is there. So all the pin definitions are there in the application context and uh, uh, controller handles the uh, all the requests so the controller passes that request to the service layer and the service layer uh, there is the transactions uh, we have and also uh, the service layer executes the business logic and passes that request to the dto's layer and uh, the dto's layer uh, fetches uh, executes the queries and returns the uh, response to the controller and controller then uh, by helping of the uh, view resolver, it uh, displays the result. Okay. Uh, can you explain the uh, how we can apply uh, immutability to the collections? Okay. So collections provide the uh, function like unmodifiable list if you want to uh implement the uh, uh, immutable list then you can uh, use that function okay. what was the conditions are there in immutability class so Immutable class means you are talking about custom class or uh, you are talking about collection. Yes, yes. How we how we how we can create immutable custom okay, class? Okay, okay, okay. Suppose uh, and the, in that how we can apply uh, immutability concept to custom collections? Okay, okay, okay. So firstly, you have to declare the class as a finals, and after that, uh, you have to mention the all your uh, uh, members or uh, declare the variables as a private and finals and uh, you have to declare the all the uh, methods uh, uh, like uh, getters you don't need to provide the setter methods and also you, if you are using the collection then uh, you have to perform the deep cloning over there so like uh, you have to uh, do not return the exact a real object you have to return the cloning so yeah Can you explain the microservices architecture? What is the difference you observe compared to uh, microservice and monolithic architecture? Okay, so the, in the monolithic applications, uh, there is a single application, so it is not distributed uh, in the like microservice architectures. You have to distribute the functionality into the multiple uh, services, and you can handle the it separately. So in the monolithic applications. 
uh, you have to uh, like uh, there is a, a they are tightly coupled <coughs> all the modules are tightly coupled and uh, if any modules uh, stop working then your application uh, will be down so in the microservice architectures like uh, uh, the application broken into the uh, smaller uh, functionality like suppose uh, i have the six modules so i have written the six different services and i can manage it separately in the microservice architectures uh, so suppose the one services uh, is facing issue then and it will not uh, stop the all the applications so this is the advantage and also uh, the scalability uh, in the microservices you can scale easily scale your applications so the in the monolithic uh, you can't do that so okay i i have one service one and service two okay. I need to call service two from service one. How we can call that one? Yeah. It means consumption. How we can consume that the service two, uh, service two from service one. Yeah. Uh, so is the Spring Boot provide the REST template, so you can uh, consume that services uh, to the REST template, and uh, you can uh, uh, use the uh, load balancer annotations and. Uh, you can consume that services okay and uh, how we can uh, any properties configuration any idea is there how we can configure the properties how we can use the rest template uh, properties like uh, you are talking about the config server uh, no, not pro config server. For example, we are using REST template. Okay. We, you need to post the object from service one to service. Hmm. For that, what are the configurations we require? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, firstly, uh, yeah. Uh, firstly, you have to. Uh, uh, mention like Spring Boot provides this REST template so you don't need, need to add any dependency and uh, second thing like uh, you have to uh, add uh, pass the parameters which we uh, which we need to uh, suppose the ID is there or uh, you are passing the JSON so depending on your format that you are consuming suppose the uh, uh, the B services uh, is only accept, uh, accepting the JSON then uh, you have to uh, pass the JSON body structure and also the headers are required. Suppose uh, you are uh, there, uh, client ID or secret ID is there, uh, like OAuth for their, uh, for that service. Then you have to pass that uh, 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 credentials uh, in a header, and uh, uh, you can uh, you can add that uh, post for object and you can pass the URL also. URL headers and parameters should be there. And you can uh, uh, return the uh, get that response into the response entity, and uh, you can use that uh, response in your uh, 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 services. Okay, can you maximize your screen? Maximize? Yeah. Please stop. Uh, okay, okay. Please stop this. Sheet. Okay, okay. I will do that. Can you explain the concept of fallback mechanism in microservices? Okay, uh, suppose uh, you are uh, calling, suppose the consumer service and producer service are uh, there, and uh, you are calling service uh, from consumer service to producer service, and producer service are failed to uh, for some reason. Then the uh, uh, microservice provides the hash tricks, so you can enable the hash tricks. Uh, uh, into your application and uh, you can uh, there is the fallback control or there so you can return the uh, uh, same return uh, types or return uh, the same return message suppose you are failing to call the that service okay what was the difference you observed at the rate component and at the rate bin can you go a little bit back I'm not seeing your full face uh, oh 
Yes, yes, correct. Okay. Uh, at the red component means uh, uh, like uh, uh, suppose uh, if you want to uh, configure any class uh, 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 inject any class uh, of the Java then you can mention the uh, at the red component annotation on the top of the class and uh, on the Java configurations like uh, uh, when you uh, inject that bin then uh, uh, you have to mention the uh, you have to use that uh, uh, at the rate bin annotation with that rate configuration annotation so you can inject that bin through the java configuration okay uh, what are the stereotype annotations are there in spring yeah uh, at the rate controller at the rate service uh, and uh, okay, 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 no issue. Sure. Uh, uh, okay, okay, no problem. Uh, what was the difference you observed compared to Spring and Spring Boot? Okay, uh, so the Spring is like uh, uh, you have to. Suppose you are using the traditional Spring application, then you have to set up the server explicitly. And the Spring Boot provides the embedded servers like the Tomcat JT. And uh, also Spring, uh, mm, in the uh, Spring, if, uh, if you want to uh, uh, check the application health checks, like the application you are uh, running or not, then you have to implement into the uh, Spring application, like separate modules. In the Spring Boot provides you the uh, features like the uh, actuator, so you can easily use that endpoints of the actuator and uh, check the uh, uh, health check of their applications. Also, uh, in the Spring, like uh, uh, Spring, uh, you can uh, in the Spring uh, you have to manage the dependency manually manage the dependency, but the Spring Boot provides the starter. So if you uh, if you uh, if you do uh, sc uh, implement the project from the scratch then uh, you can use the spring initializer and you can easily add those dependency uh, into your project and you can uh, integrate any applications uh, to the starter the starter of the uh, in the spring boot okay what you observed the actuator concept by using spring boot actuator okay uh, mm. Actuator uh, provides the multiple endpoints. So the uh, suppose uh, you want to check the internal matrix of the or inter beans uh, hierarchy, then you can check uh, with the actuator, and also you can check the health check. Uh, uh, like suppose your application is running or not, then you can check with the actuator. How we can configure in application dot properties in actuator? Yeah, management, yeah, uh, dot management dot endpoint. endpoints are there, and uh, you can. But by default, uh, the endpoints are uh, uh, enabled. So if you want to do not use that endpoints, then you can disable that uh, endpoints to the management dot uh, endpoint, and you can disable to the in the application dot properties file. The default means we need to add first dependencies, activator yeah, dependencies. Actually, then yes, only. Yes. Uh, it will learn and uh, you, if you want to particular endpoint means we can add that endpoints you yes. know don't need me just we can add star oh. management dot endpoint dot exposure dot include equal to like yes, that star yes. it was the scenario for because by default spring security is enabled first we need to disable yes, that one. Yes, spring dot security dot okay no issue and uh, do you have any experience in j unit things yeah i yeah. have Okay, and uh, what was the difference we observed J unit and Mockito? Uh, J unit and Mockito, okay. Uh, so, Power mock, so they. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, the, sta the static method uh, you can't uh, uh, call through the uh, J unit, so the Power Mockito you can uh, test the static method also. Okay, what was the difference you observed at the rate mock, at the rate spy, at the rate stub? 
at the rate mock means uh, you can mock any class uh, or inject any class uh, through the mock uh, at the rate mock annotation at the rate spy sorry i'm not uh, remember that and at the rest of okay we have two databases for example sql server is there postgres mm -hmm. is there by using spring boot how you can connect those databases at a time okay uh, okay you can use the hibernate and uh, you can uh, uh, use the uh, uh, two session factories and uh, you can uh, create uh, the uh, two session factories and uh, apply uh, create the instance connect to that database okay we can configure the how we can configure the properties and how we can identify the spring boot and explain this okay uh, so the at the property uh, resource annotation is there so you can you have to mention the class path of the uh, you can mention the properties file name or the there and uh, you can uh, use the like the private and you can use the key key value pair in that the right value annotation you have to provide suppose uh, i am using the i want to fetch the uh, email id from the properties file then i have to use that the right value email uh, in the curly bracket and private uh, string email so you can easily use that email id in your java class okay that also one primary annotation also we need to use because we need to tell the uh, application which one which database we need to first connect for that okay. we need to give in some primary annotation after that we need to create beans also for two different databases also because yeah, yeah. only we can identify tell to controller part uh, mm -hmm. we can use at the rate primary concept out of these two we can connect uh, qualifier like qualifier annotation is there no auto variable yeah, yes. concept we need to use for connecting data okay that's it and uh, how we can what is the use of eureka server in microservices yeah eureka is the use for the availability and also uh, it can uh, you can use the directly application name and don't you don't need to use the port and uh, you don't need to use the uh whole url so you can directly go with the application name so it is used for the availability of the application you can register uh, your application to uh, in the eureka client uh, eureka server and uh, uh, eureka also provides a dashboard okay without eureka server is also possible for my 